Hello everyone, we are back at another adventure. Yes we are. Another cruise adventure. Yes. But it's not carnival. No. It's not royal. No. It's not Norwegian. No. And it's not virgin. So, do you want to say where we're going? Where are we going, babe? Uh, MSC. Yes, we are on the new MSC What Shack. Sea Scape. Yes, we are. We're going to bring you with us. Let's get to it. Let's yep. go. She was always bringing up the rear, y'all. Because I always got bags. <laughs> we are about to enter, yes. He was acting funky about taking pictures, but we here, y'all. We on a seascape. Um, I don't know what that was all about. Is this a camera? Yeah. It is a camera. Yes, it is. No way. You're like Tony Stark, lady. Oh, yeah. You are. Wait a minute. Is that the welcome drink she got? Is it? Yes! Now we're going to the room to drink the rain. Yeah. So, we are here at 12, 158. This is our balcony. Balcony cabin, yeah. Uh-huh. TV, y'all. Nice desk. We. Okay. Ooh. And this is the balcony. They got a little stool right here and they got a little desk. So this is Shay's bed already made up for her. It doubles as a sofa area. And this is Q and I's bed. Really nice appointed bed. There is a USB port so we can charge up our stuff here. And a little cubby hole here to kind of put stuff in. Nice TV, yes. Yeah, nice size TV. I will say, because usually when you see MSC ships, at least when I see like vlogs of them, they always have a little TV, like TV this size. So it's good to see at least on this new ship that they have a decent size. The little cubby holes on the side to put stuff. We have drawers here to kind of put stuff in. Okay. So they have Plenty of outlets here and also USB ports. And they also have the European. So if you have the converter, you're good. We have a full size mirror, y'all. Cause you know us, we need a full size mirror to make sure that we are, you know, we're on point. So yes, this is a full size mirror. It's in front of the bed. Ooh. We can't do nothing cause Shay here. This is the bathroom area. Okay, I'm going, stepping in. So this is the sink, and oh yeah, the mirrors are really nice. Oh y'all, you know us glamour girls. We need this right here. And this is the shower area, which is, um, I'm gonna get in. Okay, that's the wall. People always ask what that is. This is for you to put your foot on. I feel like when you need to shave or whatever, but oh my gosh, this is really claustrophobic. They have um, shampoo and shower gel, as you can see. And this is a small shower area, y'all. It's really small. You come in, there are three hooks. You can hook your lanyard, your hat, your jacket. This is the, I'm on the fence about where this, um, there's the safe and there's a bunch of like shelves coming down. And there's also some drawers here, but, Okay, I don't know. It's like one, see, one closet for three people. And I'm telling you, hmm, it's gonna be kinda tight. But we're gonna make the best of it. So the marketplace is where the buffet is and they always have burgers, fries, hot dogs, and hamburgers there. I don't know if that's an MSC thing or maybe they're doing that because they're trying to cater towards the American market. Who knows? But this man did the most disgusting thing behind us. Somebody. <laughs> yes, he did. And then he gonna touch something with his nasty ass. Now, what we saw was the most heinous crime you could commit on a buffet. This man right behind me, because I heard him. He was literally by my ear. Right behind me, licked his fingers each finger and then took a utensil a serving utensil to serve himself so if you're going with msc definitely make sure you bring hand sanitizer so we went to our room and now we're with the buffet and this is the pizza 
I, it's not as fresh as it could be, but this is the pizza and I'm gonna see what it tastes like. Everyone talks about when I see and it's Italian, so hopefully the pizza and pasta is pretty good. It's not bad. I think it's the best one I had on the ship, most definitely. It's not pizza for me, okay. After you're done watching this video, please listen to the announcements and they will tell you how to register your attendance. Here we go. Here's the safety video. It's interesting. They make you... So, for MSC, it's not like Royal Carnival, other ones where you embark and you go to your muster station. For MSC, you go get your drinks, you go drink everything, you get comfortable. Then they're like, hey... Go to your room to watch the safety video, and everyone has to go to their room. Then once the once you go to your room to watch the safety video, after it's over, you then get a number to call on the phone, and then from there, once you register with that, then you have to go to your muster station. So there's two other steps in order for you to do that. So before you even get comfortable on your MSC cruise, just know this is how they do their muster station drill. I knew that we had to go, so we kind of already knew we had to go to our room beforehand, but. This was supposed to happen like 10 minutes ago, and I guess they were still waiting for people to get to their rooms and stuff. So just notice, if you're coming to MSC, you have to come to your room to start the safety drill, call, and then go downstairs to your muster station. So right now we're on our way to a show they have. They have three shows on 7, 8, 30, and 10, but because we have 8.45 down and this is the only time we're able to go. But um, it's called Dreamscapes, I think. Yes. And we're gonna go check it out. Yep. So what did you think of Dreamscape? Um, I went in with low expectations, but it was actually pretty. pretty it, was. it was nice. It, it was, was nice. nice. It was nice to sing in and dance. Mm -hmm. It was a really nice show. So we're at the casino bar. We're gonna get drinks. We got the Easy Plus package, which is frozen drinks and drinks up to nine dollars. Right. Now we're gonna see what exactly this entails, but we're yeah. gonna see. So we've been getting a lot of compliments about our shirts. It's custom um, design Q and S vlog shirts. It has our. Subscribe and then on the sleeve right here it has us. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is us basically showing the buffet during our pre-dinner dinner. And our pre-dinner dinner routine would actually be a routine for the entire cruise because there's multiple times throughout the day where there's like no food for at least an hour and a half two to three hours at a time so if you didn't eat breakfast or lunch or dinner during those times you're gonna be hungry unless you're paying eight dollars i think it is for like a pizza delivery but i didn't see any finger licking bandits up here touching serving utensils so that, that was good but overall dinner buffet it, it really wasn't it. and i just got pizza it wasn't anything, but I will say if you're a charcuterie person, MSC is a cruise line for you because breakfast, lunch, dinner, there's always going to be meats and cheeses out. Definitely going to have that. So we're in the buffet for our pre-dinner dinner, <laughs> and I got two slices of pizza, margarita pizza, and I'm going to try the dessert now. I didn't get a dessert at lunch. Let's see, it's like a sponge cake with pistachios on top. Moist. Don't really taste like nothing. It don't taste like nothing. Try this one. I don't know what type of nuts on top. Don't taste like nothing. Mm. I might as well try the brownie. Get the brownie. <laughs> So we are here at the Cala Jondal restaurant for dinner. And of course, we're gonna show you what we get and let you know exactly what it tastes like. So this French onion soup was good the first day, but 
it got really savory the rest of the day, so it was not good. The tomato soup was very brothy, not creamy. Co shrimp cocktail with shrimp cocktail. I had this scallop ceviche that wasn't half bad. Chicken croquette was just chicken croquetting. The steak, pretty standard steak. There's, it's always there during the menu. Prime rib was decent as well. I had this fish, it was actually pretty dry. It was okay though. Chocolate cake was chocolate cake. Now my cheesecake, I did not like my cheesecake. It was very bland and one dimensional. I did not order it again throughout the entire cruise and the apple caramel was pretty standard. Overall, dinner was pretty okay. Good morning, we are here in Ocean Key. A beautiful start to a beautiful day. We're gonna go explore Ocean Key and of course bring you with us. So I got the ham, y'all. Yes, the ham with that orange sauce. That orange sauce was so good. They also had other items like Belgian waffles, assorted pancakes, French toast. They had oatmeal with all the fixings, that's right, and fresh fruit. And of course they had bacon, sausage, croissants, all that good stuff. My plate had that saute spinach, which I absolutely loved. And Shay's plate, as you can see, breakfast was good. So how was breakfast? Breakfast was okay. It was. Get the waffles, the French toast is in. But the waffles are, have a good flavor. The juices were really watered down, so, I don't know. It was, it was like agua, agua fresca, it was. So we are here in Ocean Key and they, they have steps. So just be careful going down these steps here. So I had to take in that gorgeous view of the seascape while we were here in Ocean Key. I mean, that is a beautiful ship. We then decided to walk down to Ocean Key Lagoon to get those lounges, y'all, before they got all taken up. And there's a lot you can do here in Ocean Key as well. So we have gotten our lounges here at Ocean Key. Um, they do have a umbrella rental, it costs $13, but it's a nice cool breezy day, so Shay and I are gonna wing it and not get an umbrella, but if we want one, we'll go back and we'll get one. Right, Shay? Yep. So, success in getting the lounges that we got, um, but in a half an hour, it was bombarded with people. There were no lounges to get. Ocean Key Lagoon is a really nice area, chill. It was a nice relaxing day. We did not, as I said, need that umbrella. We just were sitting back, relaxing, relaxing, and trying to get a tan. So, Shay and I are here just chilling by the water. Nice breezy day. I'm gonna go and get a beverage, an alcoholic beverage. So I met up with Q. We went and got beverages at the drink station, which was right beside the food kiosk. So I got a just a soda. Q got a beer. Um, your drink package is good on Ocean Key, so relax about that. This area is so large. There are plenty of seating for um, eating, and that lunch crowd got so it was it was ridiculously crowded lunchtime. So I'm just heading back um, to check out the water at the lagoon, which is, as I said, it's a nice, beautiful space. There wasn't a lot of people there because we were the only ship in port, which was great. So um, just really nice, enough space, you know, and it was a beautiful day, but it was a bit nippy. It was a bit nippy. The sun was shining, but it was a little breezy. So I did put my feet in that water, but it was a little cold, so I just decided to just stand around and take in the beauty of the lagoon. And then we decided to get a snack, well lunch, at the Snack Shack. This is a, a limited menu venue, and it had cheeseburgers, hamburgers, pasta salad, french fries, and brownie, which was good for us. After that, we decided to walk over to the other side by the lighthouse to see what was over there, and to see if we could get a drink as well. So we are here 
immediately left from the what ship? Yeah. So whatever this area is called is in between the ship and the lighthouse. Right, this bar. We're at this bar and having a um, so right there. Right? Yep. How was the burger over from the? It was just pretty good. Shack. It was like, pretty good. They had brownies, but they're more like cake brownies. Yeah, I like them so. So the strawberry daiquiris were well, yeah, but the staff here at the Lighthouse Bay Bar were really good. And we decided to just sit and enjoy that beautiful view of the bay. We then decided to walk over to see what was further over and we discovered that there is indeed a bar at the Lighthouse. So we uh, enjoyed another view of the seascape and we just are enjoying our walk over to enjoy another drink at the Lighthouse Bar. We are at the Lighthouse Bar here in Ocean Key. Yeah, Ocean Key. So, okay. we're gonna try a non alcoholic drink. Yes. Which is the Royal Punch Passion Fruit Puree and Pineapple and Cranberry. Yep. Now let's see how it is. Yes. So, there are plenty of seats here at the Lighthouse Bar. Seats at the bar, cushion seats, and some umbrella for shading as well. So here's the Royal Punch that Shay and I got. Right, Shay? Um, this Royal Punch ain't punching y'all. They use this off-brand boxed, well, cartoned um, pineapple juice, and it's just not giving what it should give. Well, at least we had gorgeous views at the bar and that made it all worth the walkover. Goodbye to Ocean Key. Wonderful lighthouse. But yeah, we're slowly pushing backward off the dock. So yeah. Sailing away. Telling away from Ocean Key. Early day in Nassau, we get in at seven and we leave at two. Never left Nassau at two before, so that's new. But for right now, we're gonna go get a pre-dinner dinner and then you'll see us at our real dinner afterwards. This water is so blue, even at nighttime. We're going right past LA House on the way out. Wonderful. So cool. That's the place we went. We got a drink there. That drink was nasty. So far, the drinks we're missing have not been good, so there's that. <laughs> Goodbye, Ocean Key. Bye bye. I don't know if I'll see you again, but bye bye. So we're on our way to get our pre dinner dinner in the buffet. So the dinner in the buffet was the same as the previous day french fries, hamburgers. The only exception was that the meat carving station had a different meat selection and some of the veggies changed, but the pasta items were the same. The pizza changed as well. They always had the charcuterie. If you're a charcuterie fan, you will not go wrong here. But overall, it seemed to be the same items. But we'll see. We have some more days here, and we're going to really find out exactly what that buffet is all about. So we ventured outside to the double infinity pools. And let me tell you, that is a beautiful sight in the evening. It really is. So if you get a chance to come out and just look at those beautiful lighting in those infinity pools, I mean, that's a gorgeous view. I just loved it. Even though I didn't get in the pool, but I enjoyed it anyway. And they also have a bar area here, right by the pool, if you're interested.
So we're here in the Uptown Lounge. We just ordered our Crown Royal shots straight or neat. And we've got a bottle of water to go with them because remember we have the package that includes all alcoholic beverages and cocktails under $9 and the Crown is $9. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are here at the sports bar yes. on deck 8. We're exploring the ship more because it's what, day 2 now? We yes, haven't day really two. Mm -hmm. gone and explored the ship as much as right. we usually do around this time. So now we're just taking this time. Since our dinner is so late, yes, 8.45, I'm like eating and I'm like also falling asleep <laughs> at the same time. But um, yeah, we're just enjoying the sports bar, nice little sports bar they have here. Lots of seating. The cushions don't hurt my butt, so that's good too. Um, but yeah, um, we're just gonna explore the ship somewhere until it's time for dinner. So cute. We're rating the sports bar. One being, uh, with five being, this is a really great sports bar. So what are you giving the sports bar here on the MSCC? I give it a four and a half. A four it's, and a half? It's a nice sports bar. It has a nice setup. But I believe they should have more TVs. <laughs> more TVs? More TVs. <laughs> So, the drinks here on, I was gonna say Norwegian, mm -mm. the drinks here on MSC have been, mm. but I feel like it's six to the clock. Oh no, we got that daiquiri, daiquiri, mm -hmm. but this is a mango margarita. Let's see what it tastes like. No mm. flavor. <laughs> The sugar is more coarse than I expected. <laughs> but this is cool. Okay, so we're about to see what this mango margarita tastes like. Shay is already giving you her opinion. I think they already That's not bad. Okay. The drinks here have been mint. But here in the sports bar, the drinks have been a1. Yes. So um let's go explore some more bars and see where the drinks are good. And then we'll let you know. But in the sports bar, the drinks are really good. So at the chocolate bar, they were creating some amazing works of art made out of chocolate. We were in awe. I mean, they had so many different types of figurines and the trees with the piping, with the icing. They had gingerbread houses going. I mean, this was incredible. This was something that I was not expecting. And it was just wonderful to see the artistic talent of these chocolatiers here. And um, we were just enjoying it. So if at any time you come, if you're able to uh, view their artistic skills in creating these chocolate wonders then i suggest you do that because we were really really impressed with that and this is the duty-free shop directly across from the chocolate bar where you can get the duty-free liquor you can get cigarettes you can get snacks and all of that sort of good stuff and look at all daddy daughter walking to dinner yeah so we're at dinner night oh, that's two cool. It's Caribbean night. We're gonna get some stuff and we are definitely gonna tell you what it tastes like. How's the food so far in Messi? Food so far is meh. Drinks so far are meh, except for the sports bar. Honest. So we're about to try some red wine here, y'all. We're gonna let you know what it tastes like. <laughs> Ariz is pouring the red wine. Okay. And Thank we're about you. to taste it and let you know what it tastes like. Okay. It's a bit, it's a bit dry. It's not bad. Shay's over there having a conniption. She's having a conniption, y'all. It's not bad. It's a dry, but it's, it's decent. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. So Shay got the shrimp and grits. Looks good. And the Caesar salad. You know it's a Caesar salad. I got the shrimp, no grits. I don't like grits. Don't fight me on that. Q got the beef and baked potato with veggies. And Shay, she said she didn't get this, but Shay got this. It's some type of Caribbean dish. It was okay. <laughs> oh, 
on to dessert. I think that's a tiramisu with ice cream. And Shay got this tart. I forgot exactly what it was, but that was a tart, like berry compote that came with it and pistachio ice cream. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, so I came up here to try the Italian hot chocolate. As you can see, I don't think their hot chocolate has milk in it. I don't see anything on the ingredients that says liche or some derivative of liche that's in Italian. I don't see that. But that tastes just like water with chocolate. You have to add milk, Shay. So no. But these cookies. They soft. They nice. And the words of the one man, it tastes good. <laughs> So we ended the evening with the tropical party on the Mariner pool deck on deck 18. It was really nice. Everyone's out just having a ball. Um, a beautiful evening. Shay and I were just getting into the vibe of, with everyone else. We just had a wonderful time. It was a really great evening. <laughs> Oh, Shay's getting her groove on and I am as well. She's getting a two-step in. So day three, we're here in Nassau eating breakfast and then we're gonna take you with us. So we're here, we're back in Nassau. We're just here two, three weeks ago. On a quest to get more rum cakes down the street. That's really it. We're, it's a short day. We're here at like seven. We leave at two. It's like what, 10, 11 yeah. now? Mm -hmm. So really short day in Nassau. So that's really it. You'll see when we get back on the ship. Construction at the Nassau port continues. We were here just a few short weeks ago and they completed a lot in that time. Looking forward to coming back when it's completed. So we are here in the rum cake factory, y'all. Different types of rum cake. You can try them, the samples, and I'm gonna show you around. But you got rum, right? Come on, come on. I'm little coconut original pineapple. Banana, so the buffet has been the same since embarkation. I mean, burgers and fries, nothing really to see here. my gala outfit of the evening. I have a long sleeve. Yeah, very sexy velour, like a holiday green dress with uh, rhinestone heels. And I have rhinestone earrings and a rhinestone choker. And this is my outfit for the evening. So the gala night dinner consisted of the eggplant parmesan. Oh my God, it was so good. And I had a Greek salad and it was good. It was nice and fresh. And I had the surf and turf. Oh my gosh, so good. And I got an extra lobster tail too. And a stuffed salmon and a puff pastry. That was really good as well. 
We also got the chocolate cake, nice, moist, really good. And also the baked Alaska. Shay said that was really good. I didn't get to taste it. Mm, I wish I had. And we also had a kiwi sorbet. Okay, y'all, so they might have redeemed themselves with the meal tonight. Um, the lobster tail was already seasoned. Um, and then they had a really, I suggest you get the eggplant parmesan. It was so good. I had two servings of it. Um, and then I also got a salmon and fruit. It was like a salmon and a puff pastry crust. So we did like the happy birthday chant. Happy birthday to you. I mean, they did it for everyone. It was cool. So we are back in our cabin, y'all, and the power is out. Yes, the only thing that's working is the TV. It is pitch dark in here. Nothing else is working. We've called downstairs. We're waiting for them. Oh, you shine a light on me. And, and we're waiting for them to come up to see what's going on. We've put our cards in the slot. Nothing's working. So we're going to see how long it takes them, y'all. It's already been five minutes. It's been longer than five minutes. Oh, Shay says it's been longer than five minutes. Okay, uh, we about to call back down here. And it's not about to be pleasant. But yeah, the lights are off in our cabin. We don't know what the deal is. So we're going to keep you in full. So the lights are back on, everybody. Yay. Here at the sports bar, you always wonder what I'm doing at night while they sleeping. Because I get my nap in. This is what I be out on the ship, rolling. What you drinking? Yes, get my drink in on. Casino. So, they try to hang with me tonight. Um, so, yeah, the sports bar might have the best drinks. As you can see, my strawberry dye cream is a nice, not pale red, it's a nice deep red, which means the flavoring is there. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy sipping on it, oh. I guess. We're gonna head to the casino, we'll see about that, but if not, we'll see you later tomorrow. So the next day, Shay and I had breakfast and we went to check out Master Chef at Sea. It consisted of a food game trivia and those with the top score were selected to go on stage to compete for a chance to be featured on the Master Chef show. Needless to say, Shay and I didn't win, but we had a lot of fun. So we decided to have lunch in the main dining room and everything was really good. The food was good. And Shay was really excited about the food as well. They got seasoning on the fries. Okay, and it looked like old bag. So both desserts, the Boston cream pie and the tres leche cake, were really, really good. After relaxing and as the evening set in, we went to the buffet for our usual pre-dinner dinner. So the buffet has been kind of a mess on desserts, but tonight is day what day four. We're gonna see if this tastes good tonight. Okay. That's okay. That's better than what they had. Let's try this lemon tart. Ooh! Right here, man. You mm -hmm. don't like this. It's the best desserts they had. They need to get more of this for the rest of the night. <laughs> for dinner, my salad was supposed to have glazed walnuts, but they didn't and I was in my feelings. But okay, Q had the short ribs, which he said were good. Shay had the seafood pasta, but she said it was bland. She also ordered the strawberry cheesecake to see if it was better, but it wasn't. It was still bland. And that apple strudel was not strudeling. So after dinner, we made our way to La Cabaret Rouge. So we were only able to catch the end of Le Cabaret Rouge because it started at 8 and our dinner was at 8.45, but that's okay. 70s night was a blast. The crowd, they were dancing and grooving, just great energy. 
I mean, we really enjoyed that. So far, the MSC Seascape has been good, but what's lacking in food venues is made up in the various shows and activities on board. So we're glad for that. What a wonderful way to fly off into the evening. We'll see you at our next port, Puerto Rico. We are here in Puerto Rico. There's a carnival celebration, and here's a regent ship. So where are we headed, Shay? To get empanadas. We're going to empanada place, y'all. So there's the Sheraton right here off the pier. If you're thinking about staying close by, if you're coming out of Puerto Rico to go to cruise, and it's a senior park, and there's also a Walgreens there, which is very convenient. We're here at Alfredo here in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and here are some empanadas that I wanted to go check out about. They're, re they're really good, they have really good reviews, so I'm gonna try it myself. I had the chicken empanada and the ground beef with plantains empanada, so we're gonna see what it tastes like. They're each $4. How do you taste? Oh, good. The chicken one is kind of dry, so I wouldn't get chicken. I would just stick to beef. This is the spicy sauce. See what it tastes like, how spicy it is. It's just hot sauce. <laughs> So after visiting the first empanada place, we decided to go to another one and we found some really cool artwork on our way there. But unfortunately, the other empanada place doesn't start selling empanadas until much later in the morning. So we came across this other cool spot called Ito's. So this place sells the Puerto Rican snack known as bacalaitos. And those are similar to like a codfish fritter. Here are the bigger ones that he uses, but we decided to get the mini ones. He uses a technique similar to the Japanese takoyaki, but it's not the entire bowl. It's more like a half of it and it's shallow. The Ito Thin and Crispy Bacalato Shop. This is Alan. Make sure you stop by here when you come in Old San Juan, y'all. You so You're welcome. Thank you. So we're going to try the mini bacalatos. This is what they look like. Thin, Mini, crispy. Thin, crispy. Mm-hmm. We're from Baltimore, Maryland, and we are known for cotty, so it tastes it tastes like a codfish cake. Mm -hmm. If you like codfish, you would, and you know what codfish is, and you like codfish cake, you would love these. Yeah, they taste good. They taste good. They're nice, thin, crispy, light. They are really good. So make sure y'all stop past the Ito's Bacalata shop. They're $5. Yeah, $5 for this. $5. Mm. They also have sweet ones. You can get chocolate or butterscotch or coconut. And he dusts those with powdered sugar. And you can get ice cream with them and everything. So I'm telling you, stop by Ito's Bacalata shop here in Old San Juan. As for Alan, tell him Q&S Vlogs. <laughs> we sent you. These are really good. So we're still exploring Old San Juan, y'all. Mm -hmm. And so far, it's been a right tasty experience. <laughs> <laughs> So after eating our bacalitos, we wanted something sweet so we can the zip pops and here are all the flavors that they have. Usually they're in this display case, but their display case kind of went up 15 minutes before we came, but that didn't stop us from wanting to try it. And we were very happy that we did try it. Here you get a whole bunch of toppings on your thing right now. She's putting on chamoy and strawberry, but yeah, they have a ton of options for you to choose from.
This is the sunset, right? With strawberry and coconut and uh, the strawberry passion, passion fruit with chamoy and, and strawberry sauce. <laughs> Make sure y'all y'all try this. I'm telling you, when you're in Old San Juan, thank you so much. <laughs> This is good. Is it's it? Good. It's a I've never had it before. I always hear people talk about it. But it's good. I, I like it on this strawberry passion fruit. Definitely try it. So this is the Sunset Popsicle with the mango, coconut, and strawberry. And I got it dripped in strawberry sauce and coconut flakes, y'all. Let me see what this tastes like. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, I know. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's good. You really enjoying it, it looked yeah. like. You gonna try? So these were So after going to Zip Pops, we decided to visit Senor Paleta, and here's the menu that they had that day. We wanted to visit here because everyone always talks about Senor Paletas and how good it is, so we figured why not try it out and have a battle with the Paletas while we're in Puerto Rico. Now we tried to get flavors that were similar to what we got at Zip Pops, but unfortunately they didn't have any flavors that were similar, so we got a pineapple and a strawberry mojito. So we're at Senior Paletas, which is the other Paletas place that people, most people go to here in um, Old San Juan. I got the strawberry mojito, mommy got the pineapple. We're gonna see if this tastes better than Zip Pops. Yeah. Now, do note that they're, um, they charge for their toppings Yes, they do. Here. 86 cents for one topping. Yeah. This is more of a popsicle consistency. The mm -hmm. other one was more like mm, smoother. I, I mean, this is good. The pineapple is pineapple. <laughs> the strawberry mojito is good too. It's like mm -hmm. nice it's and refreshing. Like, it is a nice refreshing pop. I'm gonna give the extra sip. Yeah, it's like this one. If you want like more refreshing, like type of paleta, and get senior paletas. But... So the other one, if you wanted a more dessert style. Yeah, 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 more sweet. And if you want those toppings, which are absolutely free. She didn't say how many people get unlimited toppings. Yeah. Like that. Paleta at Zip Pops. So yeah, they know that. And it's included at a 550 price. And they have more of a variety of flavors. Right. So these are just like classic you just want pineapple, strawberry, mm -hmm. right. things like that. Zip Pops, that's right around the corner. Bunch of toppings. Literally two minutes walk around the corner. Exactly. So cute. You've tried both places. You've tried Zip Pops and you tried Senor Paleta. Right. Which one is the better one for you? I like Zip Pops better. And why? The taste and the taste and the texture was good around there. Plus you can get the toppings at a no additional cost. But they overall taste, that one was better to me. All right, you heard it from Q, y'all. We're at Scryer Rum and Barrel House. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get their La Colada, which is a pina colada that has acid adjusted, pineapple juice, coconut extract, and basil syrup, and a full swizzle, which is a take on a mojito um, that has their rum, and it's over crushed ice. And here is my full swizzle. I'm gonna try it. It's not that bad. Okay. So upstairs they actually have a lounge area with a TV and seats where you can 
enjoy your drink up here they also have a rooftop deck as well so you can enjoy your drinks outside now we did do a live from here on our way back to the ship so if you want to see that check that out but after that we were just doing our live and they were off back to the ship we are here we are in the sports bar here on the msc seascape and it's a really nice sports bar and we've got one of the little uh little nooks, yeah. little nooks that um and we have our own television so we're gonna watch this game here y'all so here's tv and let me just give you a little tour of the little space so that's q and shay sitting in space and this is the like little like leather like little bench it's a circular kind of thing going on and there's a couple of these let me just step out a couple of them there's one there and there's one here and this is what it looks like with the ones in it so a nice little space for you to look at the game you know the tv they got the sound pumping so yes Our wonderful waiters. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely. I for a shot. This is like a double. I did too. Cheers. <laughs> So for dinner, it's just me and my mom because my dad was watching the game. We had spring rolls. Those were good. The lamb shake was really good. I had spaghetti bolognese and that was okay. It's kind of mid. And then, of course, they had pistachio ice cream. I had to eat that. That was so good. And so was the Trace Lake Chase Cake. So after dinner, we did some more exploring. We came across where the actual arcade is. So in here, they have the arcade. They also have all the VRs. They have the Formula One VR, other VR um, places as well. Here's how much everything costs, including the Robotron. Now, this arcade was actually kind of big, but it was actually pretty expensive as well. This one game right here was just $3 to play at one time. So I thought that was kind of expensive. Most of the arcade games in here range between three to $5. Fair play, which I guess if you get the limited package, it's worth it, but for us it was. So we're here on deck 18 for the silent disco. Yup. So we got the headphones. You have to check in with your room card. And if you don't bring them back to the table that you got them from, they're gonna charge you 50 bucks yes. for each <laughs> set of here. Uh, we've been uh, silent disco on a couple, like a ship. A couple right. ships. Yeah. There hasn't been a fee associated with it if you don't return them. No, it hasn't. But for this one, I guess because it's not in a closed environment, right. it's in the deck. And because it's not like in a room or a right. lounge, right. that's why they have, I guess, that $50 charge. But yeah. yeah. So it's $50. Make sure you return them. Exactly. Shay's getting her headphones together. So the silent disco was just okay. The music wasn't that great. Um, I enjoy a variety of music, but anytime I'm having a hard time enjoying the music, that tells you something. But yeah, what I do appreciate those are the MSC crew, entertainment staff in particular for these events. They always dress up for it. As you can see, they're in their silver platinum light up outfit. So I thought that was a really cool, nice touch. Gold Voyages upgrade, so we're gonna go check it out. We're taking you with us. Let's go. Boom, the thermal area. Heat area is back here. We're going to the thermal. Thermal area changing room. Ooh, oh, the cold rain. Cold storm. The warm rain shower. And here is the. Here are the. The oh my gosh, the heated thermal lounges, and I'm getting in there. I'm getting in here. All right, y'all. So I got my bathing suit on. It's my the flowery bathing suit. I'm going back in this snow world. Woo! We're back in the snow world, 
Oh, Lordy. Ooh, child, this is so true. It ain't no. Okay, I'm sitting. Y'all, I'm sitting down. Ooh, child. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm in the snow Snow is everywhere. It's really refreshing in here. Oh my gosh. My butt is getting frozen. So, can you see it? I'm going to go in the next room. Okay, I'm going in the salt relax room now, y'all. You know I love a good salt room. Here we go. So I'm in the salt relax room here on the MSC Seascape, y'all. As you can see. Nice salt room with loungers to just lounge. Looks like you can have your water in here. The warm breeze shower, y'all. And then the cold breeze shower. Now y'all know, your girl don't get down with that waterfall thing in her hair. Us queens don't, but let's see if I can hit this open. There we go. Again, coming straight down, waterfall. Yes, nice. Okay, you can turn these off. Let's see right here, okay. Again, cold on one side, warm on the other side. And with these, you can turn them off whenever you're ready to, to finish. This is the vertical nip. Don't ask me what this is. Guess what? I'm going in there, because I don't know what it is. But your girl going in there. Ooh, okay. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, okay. Sensory experiences. Okay. All right. Another rainfall experience. Oh, it's got the straight waterfall, and then it's got the mist. Okay, and it's time. That's really cool. And then the waterfall. Oh my goodness, I love it. But you know the girl not getting under there. Oh no, I need a shower pack. And then I don't even know if I want to do it. Nice. Okay, so the rotating basis. Oh, I love this. This is nice. If you're on the seascape, okay, take your hour and come on in here, y'all. The dark sensory steam bath. That means that, ooh, it's dark. Ooh, it smells so good in here, y'all. I can't stay here long, y'all, because it is steamy. My glasses are steaming, but you get the visuals. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, the aromatherapy. It's like lavender, it's dark. So once again, a great place to come and meditate. Yes, your girl does the meditation. It keeps me grounded. This is really nice. Cold rain shower, you guys. And cold storm. So I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna push them. Like you said, you know your girl ain't going up in here. But I'm sure gonna give you the experience visually. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Cold storm. Mm hmm. And on this, oh, there we go. That's that storm I was waiting for. Uh huh. Oh yeah. This is the cold rain. Okay. There we go. Mm hmm. Both are cold water experiences. Yeah. The bright sensory steam bath. Let's go in. Oh, this is bright. Okay, it's bright. The other one was dark, this is bright. Okay, nice again, nice, bright to come in and just do your meditation and relax and let go of all those frustrations and, and just, you know, thinking positive and give yourself those positive affirmations. I forgot about these, the finished classic song. And they have a salt sauna. People are in there, so I can't go in there, but yes. Oh, this is the whirlpool, y'all. I'm about to get in here with Q. Watch out. You know we in here early, y'all. You know we gotta get in here right before the folks come in here and take it over. But we got an hour of this thermal. See, right, babe? If you're going, you know, which we, um, we did the matching program, so without Carnival Platinum, we were able to become gold on MSC. And with that, we got one hour in this thermal suite. And it's really nice, it, it's, it's great. So Cure and I, in here, we taking this all in, y'all. Especially in here, because you know, once 
it's normally, it's normally be crowded. It is, but we, I think we're the first ones here because it opens up at nine. So we're just enjoying this. And I'm having all uh, relaxation. Oh, right there. She's tripping, y'all. <laughs> So make sure when you go on the MSC cruise, we're on the Seascape. I know they have these in all of them. Make sure you take advantage of that one hour. Give yourself an hour to chill, relax, do your affirmation, and then to get your day started. But this is also open up until 9 o'clock at night. So you can take your hour. Just make sure you book it in advance. You have to book it in advance. And uh, we decided to do it on a court day because most people get off. You know, so we decided to do it on a court day so it wouldn't be as crowded. But Drew and I are going to take this all in, y'all. And guess what? Then we're going to get out day start, right, babe? All right. Peace, y'all. So we are here in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Plata. Shay's first time here. Well, this one. This yeah. one here in this port. Yeah. Because we're usually in Amber Coast. Yeah, we're usually in Amber Coast. So this is our first time at this port. So we probably won't be over here long. So this was our first visit here to, to Tejano Bay here in Puerto Plata. First time visiting this port. Um, there's a map to show you where everything is here. So they have the duty free shop. They also had parrots, beautiful parrots, white and colorful, and they were quite the characters. <laughs> you could take pictures with them. And this, I don't know what this is, some gorilla art piece and we just strolled around there's plenty of seating with shading the day that we went it was really hot and they also have the the little um the pedicure spot with the little fish eat at your crusty feet <laughs> They also had a large pool, which was free, and lounges that were free, but you had to get here early for it. And they also had a DJ here, so they were playing some really decent music. Nice area for your family. We decided to stop for a bite to eat here before we went back on, and a drink as well, before we went back on the ship. Casa Palapa. Um, we're getting lunch here. Usually, do we don't eat in port. We usually go back on the ship. But the food on MSC has not been hitting. And they have weird times where it's like three to four hour gaps where there's no food. So we're gonna eat some food while we're here. And hopefully, this food is ten times better. So we got some wings, which are really good, and some veggie nachos. And then we headed back to the ship after that. And the Celebrity Beyond was in port. Oh, I want to get on that. So we decided to take in the show, Nina Sky and Forever Whitney. She was really great. The show was good. And this evening was also a white night evening. So this is my outfit for the evening. It's a white night, but I didn't bring anything white. Anybody else has white stuff for me? But I have blue and white on. It's a blue and white, um, like striped dress. It hits the knees. I have my tie up gold sandals. You see the back of it. And I just have my gold earrings and my bracelets that I make. And this is my outfit for the evening. So we are at dinner and they said they had Merlin crab cakes, okay? <laughs> you know how we feel about that, right? You know, everybody knows, you know, if you don't, we're from Maryland, we will judge you and burn you on your crab cakes. So let me show you what they look like. They're a little light skin. <laughs> so y'all know I have seasoning. I, I have that, I, I have it. And I'm going to sprinkle it on there and then I'm gonna let you know what these crab cakes taste like. This is not a crab. Well, we knew that. Like I said, we know we glutton for punishment, but we're gonna try. If you say Maryland in any fashion and you associate that with a crab cake, we're gonna get it and we're gonna judge it. Now this, it tastes more like a, you wanna see the inside? Let me show you the inside. If it focuses, that's the inside. Wait, it is a potato in it. It's potato in it. Okay, so they <laughs> use potato in this. It's, 
So I'm gonna say that this is reminiscent of a, like a codfish cake from Baltimore where we add potato with the cod and make a cake. That's what this is like. This is not a crab cake. I even doused it with my seafood seasoning and it's really not doing much for it. But I'm gonna eat it. You know we gonna bring you the truth. Especially we don't play about this crab cake. Yeah, um, it's in the year. I just want to thank everyone for being a part of the QNS vlog. The family, community, um, yeah, and just toast to the new year, good vibes for you, your family, and maybe it's a drink it to me. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing and liking our content. And we can't wait to see what 2023 brings. Cheers! <laughs> The strip steak was good. The shrimp with the risotto, risotto was bland. The barbecue top macaroni and cheese was eh. So we ended this evening with a white party in the Mariner Pool on deck 18. The music was, it wasn't top 40. Good morning, everyone. This is our last day aboard the Embassy Seascape, and we're going to the dining room for breakfast. Yeah. The elusive dining room breakfast I was able to go to yesterday. And this would be my first time going, because it's only open for an hour. Yep. And I think the only reason I'm actually able to go is because we went back one hour. Because <laughs> one time I woke up and we went for one hour and I did not know. And I was so mad. I was like, yep, I'm going to give me some dining room break. Nope. <laughs> I was an hour late, so. Yeah, we're gonna go. So, delicious breakfast, and you got a window spot. And yeah, we got a window spot. <laughs> so, so, for breakfast, I got the Belgian waffles with the mixed berries. I also got the smoked salmon with the bagel, no cream cheese, but cream cheese. And we're starting our breakfast off with some green tea and some Danish pastries that we're waiting for. So they didn't have strawberry, but I got this, and I'm okay with that. Here are my cheese eggs with bacon, or salmon, bagel, or no cream cheese, and waffle and bacon. So, dig in, Ma. She's already digging. I didn't even, she didn't even look at me to say that. She just started digging in. What? What did you, you just say? No, so I said dig in. You didn't even look at me. You just started digging in. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna dig in. That's what I'm So the breakfast was, it was decent. Um, everything was pretty good. You know, I love me some smoked salmon. And um, yeah, everything was good. The breakfast was really good here. Um, even though it's open for an hour, we suggest it. Was open it, for lunch. Lunch. it's only open for hours for lunch. For lunch. Oops, sorry. But it's limited hours for breakfast and lunch. So if you have a chance, we suggest you put it in your schedule. So here is our continental breakfast spread. Of pastries here that we got. We got That's a lot. chocolate, some croissants, and we got some cereal, frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. And I think, I don't know what this is. That's my Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops and, like I said, milk, and, um, orange juice, and the fruit plates for three people. So we decided to order a continental breakfast here and enjoy the balcony view on our last day here on the MSC Seascape. We are the Fantastica level, so Fantastica level and above. They have complimentary, you can get complimentary continental breakfast order to your room. So I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the continental breakfast while taking in the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ocean view. Back to the main dining room for lunch, and it's only an hour, it's from 12 to one, so we better get at it. So I ordered the jumbo shrimp cocktail along with the burger, well done, with fries, and eggs on the dessert. Well, everyone, everyone got a burger for the most part. Um, I got dessert, I got the apple pie to see if it's good or not. Usually desserts, I don't know, it's like hit or miss, but yeah, we'll see. Because got, we got the burger, me and my dad got the burger. Well, I got the burger last time, it was good. He was hoping they had that Philly cheese steak. Yeah. They didn't have it today, did they? Nope, I'm disappointed. I wanted that. <laughs> so here's the burger, I already 
already ate mine. The burgers looks much more pretty. <laughs> I like the burgers in here. You like the burgers? I do. They're really good. They're good, and they come with bacon and everything. So, and the fries are seasoned too. Mm -hmm. So, they're really good. You're good to eat a burger on here. I see you eat one in here instead of upstairs. They mm -hmm. taste better down here. Mm -hmm. They had an awesome chocolate dessert display in the buffet. It was wonderful. So we enjoyed our last dinner aboard the MSC Seascape. It was an Italian themed dinner and we had the calamari, which was a bit dry, but it was okay. We had the arancini, that was pretty good with the tomato sauce and our awesome wait staff. Crisanto, Aris, they were awesome. And Rodaria, she bought us our drinks in the in the main dining room. We had our last drink with Max, the bartender in the sports bar. Check them out. This is Nate for QNS Vlogs. Peace.